What mysteries do the dueling peaks hold? Hey everybody, it's me, Loki, Loki Niden, and I hope you're having a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in this world, Dracula world. As we get back on into the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, we are continuing. Uh, <laughs> ah, rain! We are continuing where we left off in uh, the last part yesterday, and uh, we are moving forward once more. That is actually uh, something I do need to get as well, is that right there so we're going to mark that off on our map and we have actually used all of our little pins right now so i'm just gonna grab that one back and uh oh take that one too thank you so much uh but yes we are actually exploring the dueling peaks today uh to see what it has going on for itself and then we will go and get that tower so we can actually see what the map looks like and then we've got a few little bits and pieces to do as well but uh yes I'm glad you have joined me if you've just uh, started watching the uh, the VODs or if you're joining in the stream. I'm glad you're watching me as we continue our adventure in the land of Hyrule because it is indeed a very, very good time. And I've been enjoying myself immensely. So uh, let's let's go. Let's get straight back on in. Let's go and find a well. A well of all things, I know, right? Okay. Oh, I thought someone was trying to attack me then. Oh, ah! I ran into a wall there. Eggs. No, I want the eggs. Give me those eggs. Egg, egg, egg. Okay. Let's see what we can see. There is a well here. Yes, give me the well. Dueling Peak Stable Well. It's got lots of glowy things in it. Glowy. Much glow. Some of these wells have been tiny, and then some have been massive complexes, so uh, it's always a surprise when you do jump in one of these. It looks like there's just a load of mushrooms in this one. And another well? A well within a well? Well, well, well. Well, well, well. What do we have here, then? Some ore? Lots of ore. And another well. Okay, how far down do these wells go? What do you mean? Okay, let's get these bright bloom seeds going. Along with some more opal, we can sell that. Some emble. Some more bright caps. I actually need some bacoblin parts, don't I, to uh, upgrade one of my things. And rush rooms as well. I do need some rush rooms. Luminous stone will come in handy at some point. Let's just keep exploring. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, all this rock salt is going to make for such good meat. Okay. Uh, ha ha. Okay, I want to get back up because I, I definitely saw some uh, some stuff there that I want to have a look at. Okay, how far up are we going to go now? Oh, quite far up it seems. Okay, we'll make our way back now. Oh, I spooked the fish. Okay. Then one more. Oh, I thought there was actually more stuff in that. Oh, well. Give me the frog. Frog boy. Frog. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of frog. Ooh. It's where all the frogs left. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh. Come on. Don't, don't drown down here. Oh, speedy boy. Okay, this is the frog cave. Frog cave. Hmm. Also, I want that one flower. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty neat. A lot of resources. A lot of cool things. Let's get up and out. That is 
Another well on the checklist. Mm. Oh, hi. <laughs> Just pops right up and out. Okay. So let's feed the... Oh, is the footprints still there? Footprints, footprints. So, are you a customer? Then welcome and stuff. Look, I'm actually kind of in a hurry. Let's talk later, okay? Shabu, come on, come on. Darton, you can't do that. You have to say welcome. I hope Darton comes back soon. Okay. Beetle, my buddy, my pal. Oh, hey, Flavi. You strike me as a very in need of direction. So, the Hateno. If you head east on the road, you'll reach the ruins of Fort Hateno. And just beyond there, Hateno Village. It seemed like a lazy, laid-back hamlet when last I was there. But I hear things have really livened up. Hey, of course I'd see you all the way out here. Let's see if I can't buy some more arrows. I can. All of them. Yes. And all of them. And then I'll sell the amber I've accumulated. Because I have a lot of... Uh, a lot of resources now. Uh, by type. Here we go. I should have... Okay, yep. Yeah, there's the opal. There's the amble. Nice. There's the amble. Wow. Yep. And then I can sell some of that flint as well. 18 of these. Easy money. Nice. Oh, no. All done. Thanks for your business. All good. Yes. You need a guide, anyone? <laughs> and then we're gonna give this doggo some fruit. All done. Doggo. There you go. Yeah. Okay, we can go and get the treasure. We can find where a pen is. And uh, go from there. Mm -hmm -hmm. Um, num, num, num. Hmm. Treasure. Um, num, 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 num. One more. And then they've been a good boy. There we go. You gonna show me where the treasure is, boy? Oh, the, the, the horn guy's there, nice. Oh, what's he doing? Where's the treasure gone? Ah, over here, okay. There it is. Let's crack it open. A fold long blade. Okay. Uh, when wielded by a proficient fighter, it cleaves the wind and creates a vacuum. Oh, that's actually a sledge as well. Um, blue Bocco boomerang. Probably that one, to be honest. There we go. Thanks, Doggo. It's just not the same. Hello, hello, I know you, Traveller. We've had a delightful development. Look, I mean, listen, it's Eustace. He and his horn are back in our troop. It's heartbreaking to think of the poor fellow getting stuck in a hole on the way to Rito Village. Note to self, Eustace doesn't get to drive the cart anymore. But I'm glad he's out of his funk and fit as a fiddle. Eustace's horn will blow the stable trotters back on course. I'm brimming over with happiness to the point that I can't keep a lid on it. And I must say, it's good to see a friendly face. One who no doubt shares my concern for the Great Fairy. Ah, I must be mistaken. I merely assumed because the Great Fairy Katira is such a notable attraction to Dueling Peak Stable. Ah. Alas, the local Great Fairy hasn't emerged from her flower bud in quite some time. I'm sure she's scared to come out, just like the Great Fairy at Woodland Stable. She used to listen to Beat's drum so fondly. Hearing his lively beat again would be just a thing to cheer her up, but... 
Beats simply isn't here. Beats is a young drummer who plays for the Stable Trotters, but one day he took his leave from the troupe. We haven't seen him since. Oh, there was that traveller who heard a drum somewhere, where was that again? Maybe near Kakariko Village to the north, where the road bends around Bonnaroo's stand. Okay, so we need to go to Kakariko Village. Serenade to Kotera. That is going to be our next mission. Uh, let's have a look at the map. So yeah, we need to take it up to the north. So that is something we will indeed be doing. Some luck. I want that pumpkin. Oh, hello. You're a traveller, aren't you? But I guess we're all travellers, aren't we, in one way or another? You haven't by chance heard about a legendary pumpkin. What? So you don't know? Of course. Why would my luck be any different today? Rumour has it that deep in a forest somewhere, there's a legendary pumpkin called the Master God. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Master Sword, silly. I heard the flavour was powerful enough to defeat any monster, no matter how strong its stomach. But everyone I ask about, it looks at me like I'm talking nonsense. Maybe I was fed some bad info. In the forest. The Master God. Oh, so stupid. Oh, pie. Don't have any Hylian rice, though. What's the news? What's the scoop? There's an update on the Great Fairy Fleas into Fall Hour Bud story from earlier. The Great Fairy emerged to appreciate the skill of the stable trotters, much to the relief of the nearby stable. Uh -huh. Sounds like the situation has been resolved now, and the Great Fairy showed herself too. Hopefully the Great Fairy near here will follow suit and emerge. Mm. I always read every word. All the stories? Uh -huh. Blood Moon brings dangerous nights. Be wary, dear readers. On nights when a Blood Moon rises, so too do monsters that have been defeated. Mm. This reminds me of that researcher who was studying the Blood Moon before. They were excited to visit a monster fort and see what they could learn about monsters on the Blood Moon. But they didn't seem all that physically strong. I hope they're doing okay. Interesting. Some eager clan types, yeah. Cool. Okay, let's get a nice sleep. Welcome to the stable, I do wish to lodge. I will use a Melania bed. Uh, more energised and also a mystical message. Uh, till morning, please. Okay, let's see what we hear. I am Melania, the god of horses. On the border separating the Nekluder's east from its west, there's a place called Babinga Forest. There, many excellent steeds roam wild and free. Ah. Nice. Okay. And of course it's raining. <laughs> Good morning. As a thanks for lodging, here's a point. Oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. Oh, I need to get my reward, yeah. The drawings that the stable have gotten out of hand, haven't they? I'm sorry about that. No matter how many times I scold them, these sons of mine just don't listen. Oh, yeah, there's loads of little footprints. If you ask them, they'll tell you they saw some big footprints, the likes of which nobody has ever seen. I'll never be surprised. Ah. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's receive the reward. Hi. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. Ah. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Oh. As a reward for 10 points, you can now register an additional horse. If you see a horse out there you'd like to make yours, please bring it to us. If you save up just two more points, oh. you'll get a traveller's saddle and a traveller's bridle for your horse. We appreciate your patronage. Cool. Ah, the fire went out. Oh, what are you growling at? You're growling at your own tail. Good job. Okay, let's get up to the shrines and such that we saw up, up top. Let's see what's going on up there. I also don't know what that is, but sure. Going up. see what we can see up here so we've already done the shrine we can get towards the light over there and we may also be able to get to this depending on our timing not quite unfortunately that's all right we can't get up top atop the dueling peak that sounds like a mario star doesn't it atop the dueling peak Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, it's raining a little. Is that a Hinox? No. But it is a, a little guy. Okay, that's quickly by most used. Brilliant. Okay, quickly. Lovely. Got him. Some moblin fangs, getting some good stuff. Some seared steaks, some more bows. Uh, I do actually need their horns, don't I? And the boko bows aren't too bad. Cool. Let's keep making our way up. See what else we can find. Okay. What is going on here? Okay. It's very rainy up here. Okay. Should have this sorted. Here we go. Ah, Korok. Got him. Yeah, haha. Yeah. Bye bye. And the weather's clearing. Beautiful. Uh, wrong one. I do not have a shield that lets, lets me surf down this easily now. Okay, we'll just glide on down. We will get the map and then we will go check out Kakariko Village. See if we can't find the drummer. Beats the drummer. Beats by Dre. Another Colosseum of some kind. Oh no, is that Kakariko Village actually? It might be Kakariko Village. Okay, so we've got a monster hideout. A little monster village. One down there. Hmm. A few more little guys. Got another floating area over there. Okay. Don't know what, how that's floating so close to... There's a shrine on that as well. And there's a talus with a thing on it, yeah. Blue peas! Oh, but eat some stamina food. Blue pea. <laughs> there we go. Don't leave any of these in the grass. Okay. Let's get in here. <laughs> Another rock falling from the sky. How strange. Did you come to see the Skyview Tower? My apologies, it looks like we have a small problem. What's going on? I heard that the terminal at the Skyview Tower needs repairs, so I came to fix it, but... The door won't open. I have no clue why. The door isn't locked, but it won't budge no matter how hard I push or pull. Of course I know it's a sliding door. That's what I meant, obviously. I worked up an appetite getting my brain into gear for this. I bet the nearby caves would have some tasty mushrooms. Caves? Oh. Yep, there were caves at the bottom of the hill. I used to go mushroom hunting in them all the time when we were building the tower. You're not going to pull it open for me? Ah. Well, I guess we need to go to the bottom of the hill then. He's not going to do that for me. That's really not made for uh, sliding, is it? Ugh. Okay. 
Okay. Why does he want heckin' mushrooms? Does he mean the bottom of the hill in there, or...? He probably does, doesn't he? Yeah, I think that's the cave. Yeah, that's the cave. Cool. Let's get in that cave! Ooh. Get some splash fruit. Ah! Get out of here. It's a Hasara Slope Cave. Okay, that's the first layer. Damn, there's a lot of uh Okay, back it up. Wrong one. Okay, there's a decent amount of stuff in here. Traveller's claymores. Um, sledges and stuff. Another boulder sledge. Okay, quickly get a big cool. Got him. Okay. See what else there is. It's not cleared out yet, so there's still going to be a frog boy down here. Quickly get the boulder sledge. Hmm. Get this open up. Shield of the mind's eye, that's not broken in any way. Neat. Okay, so there's still gonna be the thing somewhere. Okay, it's gotta be deeper, right? Yeah. How far down does this go? So that's another cave exit. Okay. Where's the bubble frog? Hmm. May have to come back to this one. Hmm. Where's it hiding? What's it doing? Pointing from me. Oh. For now, though, that's fine because I'll just have to take the mushrooms I've got up to him. Hopefully, that's everything he needs. Come on, fella. Oh, I worked up an appetite getting my brain into gear, but the nearby caves would have some. Yep. I, did I not. Did I not, not get you the mushrooms you need? Is 
Is this not the right cave? Okay. okay let's clear this out so we can actually see. Come on. How are there not any more mushrooms in here? Okay, if it's not this one, there might be another. Oh, hold on. Aha! Got it. Take the bubble jump. Okay, that's that mine complete. That was sneaky. But it's very evidently not this one now. Okay, take that Traveler's Claymore. Get another... old fuse I like that one I prefer that one okay more caves apparently at the bottom of the hill Is there a better one of the... I, th I think this one's good for... Huh. Yeah. That's better. Now, where is this bloody cave? Because it's being a nuisance. Oh. Probably down there. Oh, that fell a rock. Okay, I do not want anything to do with this battle talus, so I'm out. Nope. Not interested. Uh, it's not that one. Top's not broken. Okay, let's ask him again. Hmm. Okay, at the bottom of the hill. So yeah, I'm gonna go and check down bottom of the hill. So like all the way down. That can be my only guess as to where it's actually hidden. They've actually attached proper quests to these things rather than just going, oh, we'll just climb it. It's like, oh, great. Okay.
Get rid of him. Okay. Got him. Okay, at the bottom of this hill. Oh, it's you! It's... don't tell me. That's it, you're the fellow I saw at New Seren Stable. What a coincidence. I suppose fate really wanted the two of us to run into each other again. I'm sure you remember my brothers, the two fools talking in circles about swords and beasts. I finally got fed up with them and decided to go on a solo adventure, exploring my favourite caves and ruins. You're alone too, right? Alone is good. It means you don't have to put up with endless inane arguments. Sometimes I do miss having people to talk to, but still, it's better this way. Okay, where is this bloody fruit cave they want? Is this one up here? No, that's, that won't be it. I said at the bottom. <sighs> well, let's start and look. I'm really far out of the way now, it's ridiculous. Anyway, let's see what this guy's selling and then we'll try and climb back up. If you continue down the road to the southeast, you'll reach K Kakariko Village. The village has been bustling ever since the ring ruins were discovered there. Mm -hmm. Crowds of people means lots of business, so I will go, of course. I'll let us do some business of our own. Welcome to Nimbus's Fine Goods. Please take a look at our carefully curated offerings. Ooh. I'll take all your choo choo jelly. Yep. Um, I'll take all your rice. Yep. And I'll take all your milk as well. Yeah. And then everything else I'm good on. Yeah. No, I'm good, thanks. Thank you. Ah, for all your mercantile needs. Okay, let's see if we can find any... Caves. You mentioned some freaking caves. I'm not seeing any right now. Where are they? Hmm. Well, I'll climb this. So we've got a fast travel point at least. Eww. Don't like it. I don't like it. It's trying to get to me. It's trying to get to me. I don't like it. Nope. Not interested. No, no, no. No, no, no. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I don't like gloom stalkers. They creep me the heck out. Okay. All right, let's climb up this and get out. Don't think I've got enough stamina. We'll see. Nope, do not have enough stamina. I'm going to need to uh, make some more stamina food soon enough. Okay. Uh, Morocco Shrine, Lanayru Wetlands.
Okay. See what we've got here. Okay, it's not just a um a blessing, which is slightly surprising. A bouncy device. A bouncy device. Okay. Oh, we need to put that on the slope. Okay, hold on. Let's quickly check out what's up to. Lovely. Let's put that there. Let's grab this. Quickly move over to something which is a little easier to maneuver. Oh, that's just going to go right in. Nice. Kobe? Is it going to go in? Yeah. I'm going to be patient. Hole in one. Hole in one! Dibby 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 dab. Interesting. So if it's glued together, does it do, do extra bounce? Yes, it does. Sneaky elixir. And then I just want to glue the last one on top of it. Like that. Oh, hold on. Didn't quite work as I thought it was going to. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Vista to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Here is some more light. Okay, if I can't find the cave in like another 20 minutes, I will go to Shika Village so I can get Beats, the drummer. Thank you. 
They will also probably have a shrine at uh, Hateno Village. Uh, yes, Hateno Village. So uh, hopefully, all should be well. Is it Kakariko Village? I always mix the two up. <laughs> Where the Sheikah are, basically. Basically. Okay. Now, where is this bloody... He said it's at the bottom of the hill. Which has me thinking it's, like, right at the bottom. But I'm not seeing anything. I'm grabbing this rush room. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go fight that Gloom Stalker. I've got a feeling it's down there somewhere. Because I think they'd want to introduce Gloom Stalkers at, at a relatively early point in the game. So I'm going to put on the Gloom Stalker gear. Uh. And we're going to go in Gianza Blazing. Okay. I really hate these things, though. <laughs> I really do. Where is it? Where's it gone? Why is it not here? It was right here last time. Okay. Well, we'll fight this at least. Down here. Any caves? Maybe. Possibly. Seeing anything. I am seeing a lot of rain. Oh, it's the sand seal person again. Just gonna put a little, um, that there for a second. I'll come back to you. Not feeling that today. Sand seal lady, you've got to pick up all, all little sand seals, but I'm not quite feeling that. Hmm. 
Let's drop a quick uh do 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 this quickly. <laughs> Okay. Uh, quickly sort by type. Ah, a tear there. Okay. There it is. I see you. Damn it. Come on, get out of that. Damn it. Okay, this will help us see a bit easier at least. So we can try and see where this thing is. So it's not in the teardrop. Where could it be? Over there. Okay, let's get some height. That will do. Hopefully it's this one. Get another cutscene? No. Damn it! Now I'm just a bit lost. <laughs> Okay, I think I've gotten sufficiently uh, distracted. Let's uh, <laughs> let's go back to what I was doing. Ugh, I got very distracted there for a second. I completely lost track of what I was doing. Trying to find the heckin... That's what it was. Trying to find the heckin... Um... Mushroom cave, wasn't it? Well, just I'll wait for his bloody mushrooms. I had plenty of mushrooms. I would have been happy to share. Didn't like that. See if I can glide in. No, is there anything hiding behind her? No. What? There's a cork of some kind? Um, let's try the old one, two. Let's 
see if this works. Okay, you're gonna get in. You're gonna get in there for me, little guy. Yeah, <laughs> that worked. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay, let's get Socks back. We will go explore Kakariko Village. And uh, get Beats the Drummer back. Okay. Ooh, Hylian Tomato. Oh dear. Uh, I wish to customize and get rid of the um, thing off of socks, please. There we go. Nope, all good. Drawings, no matter how many times I scold them. Big footprints. Okay. Oh, there's socks. Let's go! Okay. Heading towards the village, which will be on the left up here. Oh, wait, are, are, are those the footprints? No, they were not the footprints, okay. So it was these. Kakariko Village, Tenno Village. So we're going towards Kakariko today. Because we're going to help out the Dueling Peaks. And then we'll get to you. We'll get to you. Oh. Oh. So I keep getting overly excited. I remember the first time I played Breath of the Wild um, that I met the Sheikah along this road and actually got in a fight with them. I remember that. I was like, what? Who dis? Need to take shelter. Oh. Traveller? Lorda, you're here to see the sights, right? And let me guess, you want to see the chief of Kakariko Village? I'm right here. You're definitely Sheikah. I hear she's an amazing leader who rebuilt the village. The folks that are there love her. Oh, but don't let me keep you. Kakariko Village is right down the road. Have fun. Mm. You win this round, game. You win this round. Okay, where is B? I hear him. I hear him. What are you doing? Hi. Be be dum. Ba dum ba dum ba dum. Yeah. Come on. What are you doing? Whoa. Hey, don't interrupt. I'm busy calling bees with my beat. Come on, don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor in the music troupe I play in has been a little, a little down. I figured I'd make him honey crepes. That should cheer our master right up. But I can't get my hands on any coarser bee honey. How am I supposed to make honey crepes out of the honey? That's why I'm trying to lure some bees with my beat. All I need are three combs of honey. Someone said there are some beehives in our Kekariko village to the north, near that huge hole that opened up. That hole is pretty scary. No way I'm going anywhere near there. Honey be mine. I should just have some honey on me. Wait a second. What's that I smell? Something sweet? Maybe in your pouch there. Have some honey. Mm. All right. My beat didn't reach the bees, but I guess it got you moving. With these, I can whip a hu up a honey crepe for the conductor of my troop on the double. Here's a little something for helping me out. Take it. All yours. A silver rupee. 
Its dazzling silver light reflects your beaming smile. What? what did you say? The stable trotters are back in action? Then what am I doing here? They need me to bring the rhythm. I don't know where they are, but if I run up every single stable, I'll run into them sooner or later. It shouldn't be long before I can offer the troop leader my services hey. again. Well, until next time, if there's a next time, see ya. Okay. I could have just told him, but... Oh well. <laughs> 7 8 Kotera updated. Uh, we'll go check out the stable. We'll go do that quick. And then once we've done that at the Dueling Peaks, I can go and uh, check out the village. Because that's definitely something I want to be on. Does it rain on Sky Ruins? No, actually. It does not. Fun fact. Hmm. Oh. Oh. It's okay. It's okay, Socks. Socks, it's okay. We can go. Okay. You're doing good, Socks. You're doing good. Nice. And now we should have a drama. Ooh, it's sounding good now. Ah, there's the man of the hour. Look at this. Or rather, listen. It's Beats. Our stalwart drummer Beats has returned. A sorry troop leader I am, making my band members worry about me that way. What they really ought to be worried about is our declining audience. But the beating heart of the stable trotters pulses once more. Three cheers for our own Beats. I'm brimming over with happiness to the point that I can't keep a lid on it. And I must say, it's good to see a friendly face, one who no doubt shares my concern for the Great Fairy. Here we go. So, yep, Great Fairy. And then hopefully he should just ask, Hey, can you drive me over there? Yes. I'm sure she's scared to come out, just like the Great Fairy at Woodland Stable. She used to listen to Beat's drum so fondly. Hearing his lively beat again would be just the thing to cheer her up, but... The bridge to the Great Fairy is broken. How are the horses supposed to cross? Ah. Yeah, if the bridge is no good, how about we cross the river? That's right, we can cross the river. To the river, everyone. All together now. I'm sure the Great Fairy will give you her blessing when she wakes up. If you have the time, I'd be honoured if you could be there for our performance. Okay. So now we just need to get to the river. Cool. Oh wow, that is broken. The bridge is a bust, but I thought it might not be so hard to cross the river. I see now that I was mistaken. Even if we took off our breezes' wheels and floated, the current would run that plan aground. The Great Fairy is so near yet so far, I have absolutely no idea what to do. Our breeze was built for travelling roads, not rivers. If we tried to ford it, we'd all sink before we reached the Great Fairy's side. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I see we have some bits and pieces. Cool. Nice. We've got a control stick. And we've got a battery. I do want to try and get some more batteries. But they're hard to make. have stabilizers. That's fun. Oh dear. Okay. That's a stamina cabass. I need that. 
the bass. This Hyrule bass got to be the biggest fish by never getting caught until now. Its long life results in a cooked dish that will restore a lot of stamina. And I know exactly who I need to give that to. It's a little birdie. Okay, uh, we should be good to go now. Uh, hop in, I'll take you. Such joy, elation, the very words I've been waiting for. Everyone, get on board before he changes his mind. Okay. Yeek, what's going on? The breezer is rocking. Oh, oh, we're drowning! No. Okay. I thought I thought I had that. I did not have that. Uh, that was so close. A little too close, I must say. I suppose we'd better try again. Okay. I think. Can I use that as a? Oh wow! It even says it's like yeah, the bridge is completely out. Let's actually read this. Danger! Severe damage has made this crossing hazardous, especially for horses. <laughs> okay. Silly. Great. Okay. This can be a little jank, but it'll work. Put it in the water. In the water. See if that works. Still not right there. Oh, I don't trust this, but we'll have to give it a go. Okay. Let's see. I might have to go and get some wood from the stable. I mean, we're slowly... No. Okay, so we're gonna need some wooden slats or something to do this. Which is fine. Uh, or I can cut some down some trees. Okay, let's go cut down some trees. Do I have an axe? I do not have an axe. Um, I can use the boomerang, I guess. Now nah, we'll use these wooden slats, we'll get them over. Oh, there's some wooden slats right there. What am I on about? Okay. Come on.
That's not going to cut it. Okay. Will that do? So that that's got that on. Um, see if this floats. I mean, it's got something going for it. Let's give that a shot. Okay. Okay, let's see. Trial and error here. It's working. Just about. Somehow. Again, it's a little bit jank, but it works. <laughs> That's just Tears of the Kingdom. Little bit jank, but it works. The Great Fairy! Places, everyone places. The Great Fairy needs us. Oh dear. Not going to complain. Oh. Ah. The bookie. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we've done it. Ah, <laughs> I think my heart just picked up the tempo. The musical stylings of the stable trotters are the cure for anyone's malaise. Thank you once again. I've prepared a token of thanks so substantial that I hope your pockets are double stitched. You deserve every last bit of it. Ooh, the hundred rupees. Don't mind if I do. And now that my own pockets are lighter, I can concentrate on the performance. I'm proud to say that the Great Fairy Kotera is at peace. But she wasn't the last Great Fairy still shut away in her flower bud. That's why you must be off at once to visit the next Great Fairy. Thank you for your invaluable assistance. Serenade Kotera complete. Oh, what a feeling, that first breath of fresh air. It's just so intoxicating. The beat of the drum has lit a fire deep in my heart. And what about you? Can you feel the heat? Are you ready for more? Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. Okay. What can you enhance? You can enhance my climbing gear. Good, because I like to wear that a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good. What do you think? Are you marvelling at its strength? Uh, speaking of strength, enhancing clothing sometimes draws out its true power. But only if you wear the whole set. Well, not all sets of the potential. Let's keep enhancing. I can enhance the miner's top again. Bright bloom seed and a bright cap. Go for it. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Cute. Mine is top even better. Nice. Two stars. I hope you like it. Enhancing clothes like this can... S yeah. Cool. Uh, but it looks like it's not possible. I hear that my big sister Mija is near a stable in the Hiva region northwest of here. See you later. <laughs> Goodbye! Okay, what do I need to actually upgrade them, though? Uh, do you want me to enhance your clothing? You don't have any clothing that I can enhance. Let's take a look. Let me explain why I cannot enhance your clothes. Yeah, so here we go. 
So I need more Bacoblin horns. Ah, oh, red choo choo jelly, that's what I need. Red choo choo on all of those. Um Okay. Uh Mighty Thistle I can get. Uh Aerocuda eyeballs I'm slowly accumulating. Frox Fang. Okay, and Dark Clump. And the Great Fairy is just not strong enough for that. So the one that I can immediately sort out is my uh snow quill headdress or my snow quill trousers uh i'm gonna sort out the headdress um with some red choo choo jelly bye bye, bye, -bye. okay so we can do that right now if i go to my blue shoes pop that down i then need something that can do fire so, what I will do here. There we go. Wait for my battery to come back. Oh, gonna be patient. Oh, don't blow those away, please. I needed those. I am now sad. Damn it. Well, I've got two now, so I'll just have to wait to get the third, I guess. Damn it. Oh, there, there was some... There was some thought behind that. Not the last bit. Not the last bit. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the stable. Uh, and then we will make our way up. Oh, wait. Oh, I can go to the Skyview Tower. I just can't actually um, launch myself from there yet. That's That's something. That is something, at least. Okay. And decayed constructs. Okay. Let's see what we can do. We We're gonna go into Kakariko Village. Because I'm hoping there should be in the Fallen Rings somewhere that can process Zonite. That that is my logic. That is my current logic there. Hi. Okay. War? Uh, I want to take a horse. Ah. There you go. Oh. There we are. Hmm. Uh -uh. All good. Okay. If a horse gets spooked, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Okay. Yep, let's go already. We are getting out of here. We are going into town. Where we can hopefully buy new things, yeah. we can sell some stuff, huh. might be able to get some more bl bl blue chew jelly on the road. All good things. Huh. Just double check I'm going the right way. Kakari privilege, yeah. Huh. Okay. Time to go on another little adventure. Ooh. Yeah. Dragon. Huh. Oh, meant to talk to them. Oh, well. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, you're here to see the sights, right? And let me guess, you want to see the cheap... Oh, yeah. Talk to you already. Thank you. Kakari Village huh. just down the road. 
Let's go. Yeah. And I can actually wear my climbing gear now because it's more uh more defense. Nice. Don't have any hats with better defense or trousers with better defense yeah. yet, so. I also need to get electric key swing and more Aerocudo eyeballs. Hopefully I'll then be able to start fighting bigger and tougher enemies because I'll actually have more defense. That has been something that has limited me so far, so. Has been somewhat limiting. Okay, let's see if we see any new caves or anything up here. He's holding his sign. Bless him. Okay. Well, I'm gonna grab this sneaky shroom. Sneaky shroom. Silent shroom. And uh, we're gonna see what we can build. Oh, it's got two on it this time. Okay. Do 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 I should do Uh Bring socks in a little closer Get Iron Shroom. The cap of this mushroom is very hard. Use it when cooking to prepare a dish that increases your defense. And we're going to uh, ask Addison to let go. Thanks for your help. Uh, you just need to let go, my guy. Try letting go. There you go. Mm. <laughs> Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Just put that there, get that fastened. Bing, bang, boom. Job done. Yeah. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. A red rupee. Also, you must be hungry. Energizing mushroom balls. Also, something a little extra. Another sleepover ticket, which I will never use because I want to get the points. <laughs> cool. And with that, I'm off. I guess they're nice to have. Okay. Come on, socks. We gotta go. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get up on, up, up on out of here. I was going to say with my eyeballs, but then it's like, wait. <laughs> what are these? Hylian tomatoes. Oh, okay, there's a few Hylian tomatoes up here. Nice. Hot-footed frog? Not hot-footed enough. Silent shrimp. Ooh, that's an axe head uh, piece. Okay, so I, I will want that. Hmm... Uh, all of these have already got some stuff on it. Okay, change that long blade. Like that. Okay, and we got ourselves an axe. Stone two-handed axe, yep. There we go, and we'll go back to the Boko Spear. Cool. Oh, better get a move on. Get him out of here. Okay. Some more cobbling fangs, horns, arms. All these good things. Okay. More tomatoes. Tomat. Get to the tomat. That's a frog right there. Come with me. Sticky frog. Come with me. Huh. 
Oh, that just outright kills the beetle. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Okay. Just in case. <laughs> I know Koroks do like to hide in very weird places. Kakariko Village. West Nakluda. Oh, at last. We're hands-on with the ring ruins at last. I can't believe it. Um, Lenny, this chunk is just a small piece of one of the ring ruins. Nothing much, really. That's the ring ruins. I mean, compared to the main site, it's like that ring ruin over there. It's broken in two, but you can still see the full ring. Well, we can't visit that one by order of Princess Zelda herself. No one's allowed to go near it. So, isn't getting up close up to the chunk here something at least? We can sweep up some of the fragments and sneak them away. Oh, we've got to study these ruins somehow, huh? Don't mind me, I'm just uh, definitely leaving everything just as I found it. Wait, you're not with the survey team, are you? Oh, I thought we were going to get yelled at again. We really want to become members of the Zonai survey team, so we came here to study the ruins. Did you know that ring ruins have been found only in Kakariko Village and nowhere else? That's why the Zonai survey team sent its specialists to examine them. We figured this was a great opportunity to learn all sorts of things. But Letty's been running all over the place to look at this and that, so we've gotten nowhere fast. Oh, they've got little bunnies on their shields. Come on, I'm sorry already, but after we're done here, want to see the stone slab found in each of the ring ruins? Huge discoveries, they say. Naturally, let's see how many of the five ring ruins we can visit to see those. Okay, there's five ring ruins. Got it, got it, got it. I got you, game. I got you. Okay... See what we can see in the main town first, and then we will go up and around everywhere. Uh, Socks, you can wait here, actually. We'll go and explore around. Okay. Hmm, are you one of those tourists who've come to poke at the ring ruins? A lot of older folks live around here. This little village used to be as quiet as a dusty old tomb. But then Pyre became chief. Oh, okay. And lots of your youthful types have been coming around. Now it's quite lively. I just worry that with all the new folks running around, something might happen to my plum garden. Plum garden? The previous chief planted these beautiful plum trees on the day I was born. They're a part of me. I take care of them like I would take care of my own children. Cory over with that survey team show my trees proper respect, so I let her use part of my garden for her research. She uses it to grow something called a sunderlion. It seems important, so I keep careful watch and don't fuss with it. Oh, you got a cooking pot here too, that's good. This won't work either. Masali, what to do? At this rate, grandmother's health isn't going uh, isn't going to uh, and Chloe's so busy running with a clothing shop. I'll just have to do it myself. I'll find a cure for my grandmother. What's up? Are you a traveller? I guess it doesn't really ma matter who you are, so long as you're willing to listen. You see, it's my grandmother. She got too close to that nasty gloom stuff, and now she's sick and bedridden. Porridge is about the only thing she can keep down right now, too. I've been trying to mix in ingredients that could help with gloom sickness, but none of them have any effect. I need to cook a porridge that will make my grandmother better, and I'll need to do it soon. Gloom. I don't really know anything about it myself, other than what it does to you when you touch it. My grandmother was cleaning up East Hill for the survey team when she first noticed the chasm. We now know that the chasm is a source of gloom, but she had no idea. When she tried to take a look, she got exposed. But there's got to be a, an ingredient that counteracts gloom sickness somewhere. Porridge? It's my grandmother's favourite. Made of Hylian rice, fresh milk, wild greens. Okay, Hylian rice, fresh milk, wild greens. You might not normally think to mix those ingredients, but it's pretty good. Uh, I've bought a bunch of Hylian rice and milk from the merchants who travel the road to the west, so I'm not hurting for those. But I still haven't found the crucial ingredient. Okay. I'll keep experimenting with recipes. Gloomborn illness. So I've got the, I've got the rice, I've got the milk, I've got the greens. I should have the sunderlion, right? Yes. Okay. Let's see if this works. Sunny veggie porridge. 
restores hearts damage by gloom, porridge made of easy to digest vegetables, fresh milk, and Hylian rice. An uplifting dish. How's that? She's just getting worse and worse. I need to hurry and make her a porridge that will help her with gloom sickness. Huh? What is that gentle aroma? Is that porridge I smell? Could it be? Did you make a porridge that could help with gloom sickness? Yeah, give it a try. Well, what did you say this was again? A sunny veggie porridge? I've never made anything sunny before. Maybe this will help my grandmother. Please let it work. Please let it work. Well, grandmother, how is it? Thank you, Leslie. That was the first meal I've been able to finish in quite a while. Yeah! The colour's coming back to your cheeks. Yay. Hey, look, are you seeing this? A few bites of your sunny veggie porridge, and it's like she was never even sick. So you were the one who made that porridge for me. Such a gentle flavour. It didn't just nourish my body, but my spirit too. Thanks to you and my granddaughter, it seems I'll be around for a long time yet. I'm so grateful to the both of you. Grandmother, what are you doing up? Oh, Clary, I'm so sorry I worried you. But this nice young man made me a wonderful sunny veggie porridge, so I'm feeling much better now. Hold on, you're doing this much better after one bowl of porridge? I guess I knew that was likely planned, but I'm still amazed it actually worked. Now that I'm feeling better, you should hurry and prepare for your journey, Leslie. Her? Huh, you knew? You can't get anything by her, Leslie. Besides, everyone knows studying fashion in Hateno Village is your dream. Grandmother and I can take care of Enchanted. Okay, by ourselves, trust me. You deserve this. Clary, are you sure you don't want to go study with her? Well, I'd be lying if I said I didn't, but there's something else I want more. I want to make Enchanted a success, right here in my beloved Kakariko village, right next to my be beloved grandmother. And I dream of someday filling our store wall to wall with outfits you designed, Leslie. So don't worry about me. Go study hard in Hateno village and come back to us a fashion icon. Oh, we're going to meet Clary in, in there and we're going to make them the best damn designer we've ever seen. You mean it? Thank you, Clary. And thank you, grandmother. Well, now that grandmother's all better, I think it's time I head back to the shop. I've got to make our prices go back to normal, and everything's ready for our customers. You should come by Enchanted yourself. Yeah! Might get a discount. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. I made a lot of porridge trying to find a cure for my grandmother. We won't be able to eat it all ourselves. I think it turned out pretty tasty, though, so I'd love to give you some to take on your journey. Energising veggie porridge. Nice. Porridge made of easily to digest vegetables. Huh. Yeah! I'm going to work hard for my big sister. Just watch. I'll be a fashion designer who changes the world. Lasley, you're going to go far. Gloomborn illness complete. Nice little side quest done. Thanks to you, I'm actually going to study fashion in Hateno Village with a clear conscience. But Hateno Village is far to the east on the edge of Nakluda, so I won't be able to come home to Kakarika very often. I'm actually a bit nervous about going on my own, but I'd be happy if you came to visit me sometime. That porridge, that was sunny veggie porridge, wasn't it? I've never tasted anything quite like that. It was as if poison were drawn from my body. And such a comforting flavour too. I feel like I have a whole new lifetime ahead of me. Yay. Good. Okay. So that, that's a little something right there. Got lots of carrots in there. <gasps> Cockles! Hello. Oh. Interesting. Oh, they're crossing the bridge. That's cute. Ah, <sighs> Okay, let's see what we can find. We've got one of the stores on our map now. Hello, world. Hmm. Um. It's that. I don't know you. And I shouldn't talk to strangers. But we're already talking, so maybe we aren't strangers anymore. Oh, dear. <laughs> Are you looking for a souvenir to mark your visit to the rings? Sure. Yes. You're in luck. I'm selling my very super special ring garlands. I make them to look like the ring ruins. Maybe they'll bring people together like never before, like the ruins here have. I've opened my shop under the tree in front of the chief's house. We aren't open all the time, so keep an eye out. You know you're in the right place when you see the adorable shopkeeper. <laughs> Cute. Okay, can I see anything? Little frog guy. Okay. More those little frog dudes. What's this? 
Ah. Interesting. Ooh. Ring Ruins, West Nakluda. A book. Read Kalip's journal. While Toro and I were taking a break, he asked me, Hey Kalip, what attracted you to join the Zonai survey team? A little flustered, I answered that I heard its research division was led by a brilliant man by the name of Toro. Because of you, essentially. I meant it sincerely, and in my heart, I longed to continue. You're not like these other dullards, you know. You immediately grasped the breadth of my vision. Of course, no such thing passed my lips. But I am certain that Toro, and no one else, is the man who can help the world see my indescribable worth. Our leader Toro has done nothing but surprise me since I joined the Zonai team. One day, I arrived at the research site to find him sitting on bare earth as he stared at a stone slab. I wished him a good morning, and to that he turned to me and said, Ah, Kalip, sorry I didn't notice you working overtime today. Huh? I thought back to the night before. As I was heading in, I saw Toro sitting on bare earth examining a stone slab. It hit me then. He'd stayed up all through the night puzzling over the slab, never moving from his perch. I felt a profound envy of his ability to focus so completely that the passing of time escaped his notice. Uh, it's a researcher's duty to use his wisdom and intuition to bring to light historical truths which the ruins would keep secret. We carry on the work of our forebears and continue our pursuit tirelessly, then pass what we learn to those who come after. Our leader Toru understood well that this is not a task that can be completed in a single generation. He says this is why he wants to make so many discoveries, even if the credit to whom they belong is lost. That's the sort of man Toru is, but I, Dr. Kalip, won't be so easily satisfied. My discoveries will be noteworthy, to be sure, but it is my name that I want to live on forever. Not just in people's memories, but in books, stone tablets, and if I might be a trifle immodest, landmarks. Kalip Valley, Kalip River, Kalip Hills. My dreams recognise no boundaries. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Cool. Got lots of books. Is that a chicken? That's a chicken. <laughs> hmm. Sunline. Interesting. See what's in the clothes store. Good morning. Oh, you've got a lot of outfits here. Hello, Claire. Welcome to en Enchanted, my high-end boutique. Let's try that again, because my voice started. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. There we are. <laughs> oh, and to you. Now that grandmother's better, I can go back to our normal prices. The fashion world owes you a debt. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. We also buy anything you don't need, so just talk to me when you're ready. That reminds me, for a limited time, customers who buy a piece of clothing from us will receive a special gift. So we get shopping. Okay, so we've got the sneaky suit. And then we've got this one that glows. I'm probably going to start with the sneaky suit. And I want some sneaky trousers. Stealth tights. Members of the Sheikah tribe wear these tights when they need to move stealthily. They're made from noise suppressing cloth, a hallmark of ancient Sheikah technology. So that's 600. That's 700. That's 500. Okay. Uh, radiant tights. The paint of these tights is made from crushed luminous stones. It causes the tights to show a glowing bone-like pattern in the dark. And then the same. Okay, so we're going to start with the trousers. 600 rupees, got it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Thanks. That'll look great on you, really. When you buy a piece of clothing from us, we're offering a special gift. So here you go, fashion maven you. Ooh, chica fabric. Tough fabric bearing a Sheikah design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Thank you for your patronage. Yeah. Okay, I'll buy those. I'll also buy the hat. Hmm, that will cost you 500 rupees. A deal like this doesn't come along every day. What a steal. You got me, I'll buy. Stealth mask. It may look like a regular cloth mask, but it was made using Sheikah crafting techniques to suppress the noisy rustling of clothes. Perfect for sneaking about. Thanks, you made a great purchase, really. And then I do want the whole outfit. I need 700, so I need another 600. Anyway, you can't get your hands on CC brand fashion unless you go southeast to Hateno Village. Uh, but why go there when you can meet all your fashion needs right here? We serve both style and quality. The Seise brand? The Seise brand is a fashion phenomenon that's getting attention all over High Rule. I can't believe such a hot brand came out of Hateno Village in the Cluda. Anywho, my little, sister Laz uh, my little sister Lasley is on her way there to study fashion. But with her sense of direction, I hope she gets there in one piece. Oh, excuse me, do you need anything else? I want to sell. Hey. Some stuff. Uh, yeah. Now, will I have 700's worth? Let's find out. 
I've got giant bright bloom seeds. Now I can sell all those. You get. Uh, do I have any crystals? I do. I've got sapphire. It's 300 rupees. Brilliant. I might be able to uh, scrounge together enough cash here. Uh, all of these. Uh, 12 of these. Yep. And I've got a lot of deep fireflies. How much bright food do I have? Uh, I've got some bright food. I'm not going to need these for a while. Um... Uh, is there any food I can sell? I can sell a Sid steak. <laughs> and a meat skewer. That should hopefully be enough. Oh, and the porridge as well. <laughs> and the mushroom. <laughs> and I'm not going to need the sneaky elixir, will I? If, I? if I've got the sneaky gear. So, let's sell that. Brilliant. There we go. I don't have time to do much travelling, but looking at the things you carry around feels like seeing the world. So come here when you have things to sell, okay? Oh, excuse me, do you need something else? Nah. Please come again. I'm gonna buy this. Armour designed for stealth, passed down through the Sheikah tribe. The special fabrics suppress the rustling of clothes even when moving quickly. There we go, stealth chest guard. Thanks, take good care of it. Yeah, I like getting the whole set of a, a piece of gear, so... We will do that. And then the little girl said that they would sometimes sell some bits and pieces down here, so... Let's sit until noon for a second. See if they come around. Do do. No. They did not. That's quite all right. Rain? Oh! Hi, Coco! How about a ring garland as a souvenir? Only five rupees each. What's a ring garland? Their decorations are made using flowers and plants and things. Whoa. After the ring ruins fell from the sky, Kakariko Village got much busier. It's like we're more part of everyone's lives now, and they're more part of our village. So I stopped making garlands that look like they're ring ruins, hoping they'd bring people together even more. I want to make them to make lots of people happy, so I'm only charging a little bit. That's right, only five rupees each. I'll take one. Thank you. Before you go, I'll add an extra little bit of love to it. Mwah. Here you go. Beautiful. Look at it. It's gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's gorgeous. Ha ha. Have a ring filled day. I thought I was going to get a hat, to be honest. Um, there we go. Put that there for now. Rain. Okay, let's have a nice little prey right here. Get another heart. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed the lights of blessing. Uh, I would like a heart, a heart container, please. Yes. I shall grant you the power you seek. Yeah. Bubble. Oh, like it's rid of some nice gloom. Do -do 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 -do. That's nine hearts. Go and bring peace to the world. Yeah, and I think I will do just that in the next part because, well, I need to be cooking a load of food. I need to be doing this, that, and the other. And then we're going to visit the ring ruins. The ring ruins. Because I think there is most definitely something important going on up there indeed. But for now, uh, we're going to have a lot of until the next one. So I hope to see you then.